I'm going to show you how to clean the firing valve in your BSA R10. If you've got a leaking firing valve, um, the, normally you would get an um, air leaking out the end of the barrel or out of the um, magazine port. So the um, easiest way to do this is use a 5mm Allen key to loosen the bolt in the toast, toast rack, tilt it over clockwise, tighten the bolt back up. and then use the regulator body as a lever to undo number 38 and just keep repeating that make sure you hold number 38 when you do this otherwise you're going to be tightening and loosening it each time then tip it back over Do that until you think number 38 is loose enough to undo by hand. Then remove the bolt in the toast rack or from the toast rack. Okay, that's the toast rack and the um, bolt. Then the regulator should just pull off. then number 38 you should be able to undo by hand. If not, you can always put the regulator back on and continue doing the um, undoing procedure that we've just been doing. Right, that slides off. Then that leaves you with a brass body which houses the knock-off valve. Here you'll see there's a um, cap with five holes in it. Um, you need to get a tool to loosen this cap. I find a pair of long nose pliers or circular pliers will do quite nicely. And you loosen that. You may find that it's easier if you um, cock the action at this stage because that releases the pressure on the, f on the knock off valve spring. So loosen that cap. Um, then remove the cap and there's a spring within the cap and then get a pair of long nose pliers and gently grab the knock-off valve and pull that out there you go and what you need to do now is clean that very well, make sure that all the dirt's removed, inspect this corner of the valve to make sure that there are no scratches or dents or, or, or bits of swarf or anything caught in the actual valve. If there is, you may need to get it machined to remove the, the lumps and bumps, otherwise it won't seal properly. Once you're happy that, that that's clean, you need something like a cotton bud which then you can clean the inside of the firing valve and make sure you get rid of all the dirt it needs to be spotless inside and once you're happy that that's all nice and clean you can then reassemble it basically following the reverse of what we've just done so your knockoff valve goes back in and just push that in. Then the spring goes onto the knockoff valve, and then your brass cap fits back on. Make sure the spring is fitted onto the little guide on the inside of the cap. Then tighten that back up. long nose pliers or circular pliers to tighten that up
Right, there we go, and make sure that's all nice and clean, with no swarf or anything. And then, while this is apart, you can clean the inside of part number 38. Make sure that's all nice and clean. Then fit that back onto the firing valve. Right, then you need to put your regulator back on, but put it on as far anti-clockwise as it'll go. Then put the toast rack and bolt back in. The right way around. And then your 5mm Allen key to tighten that back up. Then use the regulator body as a lever again to tighten up number 38. Okay, that was pretty tight by hand, which is good. Then slacken the screw again. Swing the regulator around to the right position. Make sure it's nicely parallel with the trigger mechanism, or else it won't fit back in the stock. Then nip this bolt back up again. Nice and tight. And there's your regulator back on. And you can then refit the buddy bottle and check for leaks.